So, normally this channel is about video game development, but today I've got something completely different to show you. Over the last six months or so, my sister has been working on making these super cute patch quest themed pins. Most of the pins that you'd buy online are made out of enamel, but these are made out of resin, which is more practical to work with at home. They have a two-level design, where the dark outlines are actually raised above the rest of the pin, and they have a glossy finish. And just like all pins, you can attach them to a bag or to a jacket, or to anything, really. Making these pins was a little bit more tricky than we expected. The early attempts would often have defects that would ruin some of the fine outlines and detail, but eventually we figured out how to reliably produce seven different designs, based on some of the more popular monsters that you can find in the game. And so in this video we're going to show you how they're made, going all the way to a finalised pin.
And so that's how we made the pins. As you can see, there's quite a lot of steps involved, but we've managed to make 100 copies of each of the seven designs, and we've decided to put them up for sale on my sister's Etsy store. 
meaning you can now get your hands on the first official Patch Quest merchandise. Each pin also has a serial number on the back from 1 to 100, so you can prove that you've got the limited edition stuff. The game, Patch Quest, is launching on Steam in just two weeks, so to celebrate that, if you use the promo code LAUNCH on the Etsy store, you can get 10% off of everything. This code will be valid until the game launches on May 7. And of course, a chunk of the money goes towards supporting this channel and Patch Quest development. Now, once again, this video is a little bit different to what I'd normally put on this channel. But if you like the video and you want to see more of these behind the scenes or how to make style videos in the future, then be sure to let me know by leaving a comment below. And I'll be back with another video real soon. And as always, thanks for watching.